Well, hey, welcome aboard, kids. I hope you are so excited. We are here at your port of call, and we are gonna be going on an amazing adventure on this cruise ship called Adventure. So this is gonna be a fantastic time. I hope you are excited because we are gonna be going to all kinds of great places that we see all throughout the Bible. Now, we are going to be following the adventures of the missionary Paul. We are going to go to all of the great places that Paul went, and we're going to learn some very cool lessons about how Paul would share the good news with others, which is what you and I also need to be doing. Now, since you and I need to be doing this, and since Paul shared the good news with others, I have decided that that's what our main point is going to be today. I will share good news with others. So, do you think you guys could say that for me at home? So on the count of three, I'm gonna say it again and you say it with me. Here we go. One, two, three. I will share good news with others. Good job, you guys are awesome, and I am so excited about this adventure that we are about to go on. But before we do, let's sing some amazing songs of worship. Here we go. I never knew, I never knew a strong your power, but it's true, yeah, it's true. And I discover, gave your word, you gave your word And I have it in my heart, in my heart Now I can share it
One, two, three. Ooh. What's up, CS Kids? We have another awesome game for you this morning. This game is called Jiggle Puff. This is a great game of poses, so make sure you pay attention. There are seven poses involved. Wait, six? Seven? I don't know. Let's count. There's Prayer Stance, Dragon Egg, Cobra, uh, Tourist, Mind Control, and Rising Phoenix. I think that's six. I counted six. All right, so there's six poses. Follow I along. I counted nine. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. okay. I think that's wrong. Whatever. Okay, so the way this game works is I will say Jigglepuff and choose one of these six poses. You don't have to remember all of them. All you got to do is pick a pose that I don't do as soon as I choose one. If you choose the same one as me, you're out, okay? So gather up your brother or your sister or your parents. Brayden here is gonna be trying to stay in the game, trying to do a different one than me. Um, if he gets out, he stays in because, you know, whatever, we make up the rules. All right, Brayden, are you ready? I think I am. All right, let's do it. <laughs> That's how you begin Jigglepuff. You always have oh. to add a little <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, go to your happy place. Jiggle up. All right, good job. Brayden's still in the game. So if you did tourist, then you are out. If you did any of the other poses, you're in. You guys get how it works? All right, that was kind of a practice round. This one's for real. All right. Oh, yeah. Jiggle up. All right, if you did dragon egg, you're out. Jiggle up. Jigglepuff. 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 Oh, Jigglepuff. Okay. Jigglepuff. Jigglepuff. All right. When I do that, I know it's really hard to keep up with. Whichever one I land on is the real one, okay? Jigglepuff. It's dangerous. Watch out. It's out of control. Jigglepuff. Yeah, you didn't think I'd go back to prayer stance, huh? But I'm a prayer warrior, okay? So now you lead the jiggle puff. I will try to do um, different poses than you do, all right? Okay, here we go. Jiggle puff. Jiggle puff. Oh, ow. okay, oh. that's one. Jiggle puff. That's two. Jiggle puff. That's three. Why am I just doing the same one as you? <laughs> jiggle puff. Jiggle puff. Jiggle puff. Jigglepuff, 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 Jigglepuff. Are you still in? Jigglepuff. All right, if you're still in, and there's someone else next to you that's still in, it's time to drool them, okay? So I'm going to drool Ben. Are you ready, Ben? I am. All right, shake on it. It's always important to be nice. <laughs> Jigglepuff! Oh! Destroyed! You guys see that? Uh. Okay. All right, final round, final round. If you win this one, you win the whole thing. The other two didn't matter. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, assume your Jigglepuff pose. Jigglepuff! 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 
Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! Jigglepuff! That's not one. Jigglepuff! 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 All right, you guys. Hey, thank you for watching another edition of CS Kids Games. Hope you liked that one. If you won, let us know, and uh, we'll see you next time. You guys have amazing skills and talent, man. I bet you were having so much fun singing and dancing, and I cannot wait to see and learn about all of those other skills that you have. But before we do that, I wanted to spend a little bit more time talking about our main point today, that we can share the good news with others. So you see, let's go back to the very beginning, Jesus. So Jesus was born many, many, many years ago. And Jesus' whole life was about teaching people how to live their life. But you know, even more than teaching us how to live our lives, Jesus did many other things to help us to see exactly how we are to live. In fact, Jesus performed many miracles. Jesus healed the sick. He helped blind men to be able to see. He raised people from the dead. He turned water into wine. He did some amazing miracles. But you know, even more than those miracles, Jesus came to do something very, very important. And that was for you and me to help us to be forgiven of our sin. Because you see, we all have sin in our lives. And that is what keeps us from being able to be close to God. Have you ever done anything in your life that maybe was something God told you not to do? Maybe you've said a lie. Maybe you didn't listen to your parents. Uh, maybe you took something you shouldn't have taken. All of those things are sin. And when we do that, it separates us from God. But Jesus came to die on the cross so that we didn't have to pay the price of our sin. Now that is such good news, but it doesn't end there. Not only did Jesus die on the cross for you and for me so that our sins could be forgiven, but three days later, he rose from the dead. He did not stay in the grave. He rose up and he was alive. And now today he is in heaven, sitting next to the Father, preparing a place for you and for me. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pretty good news. And if we have this great good news, why wouldn't we want to share that with everybody around us? That's why our main point is I will share the good news with others. So. Here we are, we have you, we have me, we have our fearless captor, Captain Stern who is leading us on this whole journey, driving this boat adventure on this cruise that we are on. But there are two other people that happen to have snuck on board. We have Rudder and we have Cuddly and they are hiding away on the ship. They are stowaways here on this ship. But don't you worry, because Captain Stern has it all figured out. In fact, we have a couple of security cameras right here on this boat adventure. Let's go ahead and take a look at those now and see what Captain Stern is doing with Rudder and Cuddy. I don't think it was a very good idea to sneak on board. What if we get caught? We're not going to get caught. We just have to keep sneaking around on this boat and we'll get to go on this whole cruise for free. Ahem. Uh, 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 just as long as she doesn't find out that we snuck on board, we'll be fine. Uh, mm, hello, uh, I'm Rudder and this is my friend Cuddy. Pleased to meet you. Who might you be? I'm Captain Stern. Captain? And tell me, was it difficult for you to sneak on board? Uh, it was easy. We just climbed inside some hey, luggage and hey, then we were... Hey! Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected, you two are stowaways, and there's only one way I deal with stowaways on my ship. No, no, please! No, no, please! No, no! Welcome aboard. Huh? What? Welcome aboard. I'm offering you two jobs. These are the oh. uniforms. You can either take the job or you can leave. Wait, 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 wait. So, if we take the jobs, then 
We get to go on the cruise? Yes. You'll be employees <coughs> on the greatest ship ever, the Adventure. I've been the captain of the Adventure for many years. This ship has everything. Everything? Swimming pools, water slides, rock climbing walls, and the best food you've ever tasted in our dining hall. Interested? We'll do it! Excellent. Proud to have you part of the crew, Rudder and Cuddy. Oh, wow, thanks. Wait, oh, wait a second. What, what are these? Oh, you'll need those. Those are PSC devices or personal ship control devices. We use them to manage various control systems on board, give out assignments, and send messages to each other. Wow, cool. Wow, cool. Awesome. Well, go ahead and get ready. The rest of the passengers will be here soon. All right. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Check us out. We look awesome. Yep. And now we get to go on this cruise and have some fun. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't wait to go swimming. Ooh, and climb the rock wall. Or hang out in the arcade. Or <gasps> even. What? Oh, I'm sorry. There seems to be some misunderstanding. You will eventually have some free time to do those things. But as employees, your first priority is to take care of the passengers whom you will be sharing this cruise with. I'll be sending you your orders soon. Get them done as quickly as possible. The passengers will be here shortly, and we must be ready. Uh, 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 orders? What? I don't know. Wait. That's coming from our oh, PSC devices. Okay. I, yeah. Oh, wait. I, th I think these are the orders from the captain. <clears throat> Attention all employees and crew. Uh, the passengers will be on board soon, so please complete the following tasks immediately. Um, wait. Empty the garbage from all the containers and compartments on decks three, seven, and nine? Use the pool skimmers to clear debris from all six swimming pools? Wait, wait, there's, st there's still more on here. Uh, sweep and mop the floors of the entire banquet hall? Sincerely, Captain Stern? What? Uh, sounds like a ton of stuff. That was a ton of stuff. None, none, none of it sounds like any fun at all. We, we didn't come on this cruise so we could work. I know, we came so we could have fun and swim and play and hang out. Yes! And now we have to work and share this cruise with a bunch of other passengers? I guess so, because they're going to be on board soon. I mean, why do we even have to have passengers? Mm -hmm. I mean, without them, we could have all the fun. Yeah. <gasps> we we have, have to get, get rid, rid of, of all the passengers. passengers! Attention all employees and crew. The entrance ramp has been lowered and the passengers are coming aboard. Please make them feel welcome and direct them to their rooms. Oh, oh, look, the passengers are coming. Oh, okay, I've got an idea. Follow my lead. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, may, may I help you? Oh, yes. Uh, can you please help me find my room? Oh, of course, of course, yes. Uh, oh, no, there seems to be a problem. Uh, your room isn't on this boat. It's not? It, I mean, no, it's not. It no, is it? No, no, your room is on... Uh, uh, your room's on that boat way over there, yes. But yeah. that's a tugboat. Boat. I'm sure it is. Now, uh, bye bye. Wait, I, Please exit the boat. Uh, uh, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, let me see your ticket. Oh! Oh, no, sir. I'm sorry to inform you that this ticket is a phony ticket. You're going to have to exit the boat immediately and speak to the police about this phony ticket. All right? See you later. All right, go that way. Police are to the left, off the boat, down the <clears> ramp. <throat> All right. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, that was awful. I could not believe that Rudder and Cuddy were acting that way. How could they be trying to keep passengers from getting on board? And you know what, started off good. It was really good that Captain Stern made them employees. But when they started doing their own thing and not allowing the passengers to come on board, that just got really, really messy. But you know, I think I might know a Bible story that could help lead us in maybe helping to understand what Rudder and Cuddy should do next. In fact, why don't you right now at home think about some ideas of what is it that Rudder and Cuddy could do to get out of this situation? Oh man, those were some great ideas, you guys. I'm sure those would work so good. But you know, like I said, 
I think I know a Bible story that might really help give us some insight into what they should do next. You know, we've been talking about Paul and how we're gonna follow his missionary journeys. Well, there is this story about Paul because he started out a little iffy in his relationship with God too. In fact, there were times before he experienced Jesus that he was doing things that also might impact and hurt other people, kind of like what Rudder and Cuddy were doing. So let's take a look at Paul and this story and see what that looked like. Going on a cruise out into the middle of the ocean and then on to all the different places it can take you is a lot of fun. But to go on a cruise, you need a boat. And if you've been on a cruise, you know I'm not talking about a small boat that just maybe has a place for you to sleep. I'm talking about a huge ship that has swimming pools, water slides, rock climbing walls, theaters, arcades, dining rooms, and enough room for thousands of people to stay in. I've been blessed to have gone on a couple of cruises myself, and every time I get back, I can't wait to tell all of my friends about it. I even encourage them to go on a cruise themselves someday. I figure that since going on a cruise is so much fun, I shouldn't keep the experience all to myself. I should tell others about it and encourage them to go too. Sharing good information, like a fun cruise with others, is a great thing for us to do. Because when we do, others can then go and experience it as well. Well, in my Bible story today, I want to talk about a man who devoted most of his life to sharing good information. His story begins in the book of Acts, chapter 9. The story starts out with a man by the name of Saul, who was stopping people from sharing the good news that Jesus had died to take the punishment for their sins. You see, Saul didn't believe that this news was even true. And the people who did believe it was true made him very angry. So angry that he got permission to hunt down and arrest anyone who believed in Jesus. Well, one day, Saul was traveling to the city of Damascus to arrest more believers when something incredible happened. The Bible says that a light from heaven suddenly shone down on Saul and frightened him. And when it did, Saul heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. <laughs> Here was Saul going to arrest people because he didn't believe in Jesus. And now, here is Jesus actually speaking to him. Well, Jesus continued saying, Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. But when Saul got back on his feet, his eyesight was gone, and he had to be led by the hand into the city. While there, Saul met a man named Ananias, who was a believer in Jesus. Ananias prayed over Saul, and when he did, Saul was able to see again. But even though Saul was physically back to normal, spiritually, he had been changed forever. Now he believed in Jesus, and he wanted to share the good news with others that Jesus had died on the cross for their sins. Saul then changed his name to Paul, and for the rest of his life, he preached and he taught others about Jesus. Paul had experienced salvation through Jesus, and he couldn't wait to share the good news of that experience with others and to encourage them to experience it too. You know, the same should go for us as well. If you experience something awesome, you should share that experience with others. So if you believe in Jesus and have experienced his love, then you should share that love with others. When you do, the people who experience God's love will definitely be glad you shared. Let's pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for the story about Saul, who changed his name to Paul after he experienced your love. Help us to be able to be like Paul and be willing to go out and share you with others. We ask all these things in your son's precious name. Amen. Wasn't that a great story? Now, did you notice 
how Paul's experience on this road to Damascus totally changed everything about who Paul was. In fact, Paul's name was Saul, and then it becomes Paul. Because when he experienced Jesus and he experienced this good news, everything changed. And all Paul wanted to do for the rest of his life was to go out and to share the good news with others. And that is exactly how you and I should be. Once we experience Jesus in our lives and we accept him into our lives, now we have been saved. We have experienced what we call salvation and our lives have changed. And we should be so excited that just like Paul, all we want to do is go out and share this good news with others. But you know, I'm starting to get a little curious about what's happening with Rudder and Cuddy. Why don't we check in and see exactly what Captain Stern has in store for Rudder and Cuddy and how he's going to handle this situation. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, ma'am. I'll take that. Oh, and I'll take that. Oh, thank you. If you could okay. just take that to my room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we know exactly where oh, these good. need to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait, no, what? What are, you, what are you doing? That's my luggage. It sure is, and it's sinking, and you need to go get wait, it off wait, the boat that direction. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. What are you two doing? <laughs> I just got back from listening to dozens of passengers complain about how two employees tried to kick them off the boat. And now I come up here and find two of you throwing a passenger's luggage off the ship? Explain yourselves. Well, it wasn't no, us. Just we, we were just I just said fly. explain yourselves. <sighs> all right, you caught us. Yes, we were trying to get all the passengers to leave the boat. See, if all the passengers were off, then we wouldn't have to do all the work that you assigned us to do. And we won't have to share the cruise with them either. Yeah, we'd have the whole boat to ourselves. The whole boat. What? Without the passengers to share it with, there wouldn't even be a cruise. I already told you about everything this ship has. There are pools, the water slides, the arcades, and tons of other good things. There's plenty for everyone, and good things are supposed to be shared with people. If it were just the two of you on this cruise, it would get really boring really fast. Tell me, have you ever heard of Paul from the book of Acts? Paul from the Bible? Yes, yes we, we've heard of him. Well, he experienced something amazing once. While traveling to Damascus, he met Jesus. It was an encounter that changed Paul forever. But do you think that Paul kept his experience to himself? Uh, yes? No! Paul was a new person and he knew he needed to share his experiences with others. And that's exactly what he did. He spent the rest of his life sharing the good news of Jesus with everyone he could. And it's the same for us on this boat. We're not here to turn people away or be selfish with the crews. We're here to share with the passengers so that they can experience something amazing too. Wow, I guess I'd never really thought of it like that. Yeah. We really shouldn't have uh, yeah. tried to kick the passengers off. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, I guess we should probably get to work on that list of things you assigned for oh, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah we should. Yes, and I'm glad you learned something. And yes, you should get to work on that list. But you probably should take care of something else first. Oh, mm. sure, what is what? it? Yeah. Go down there and get that luggage that you oh, threw oh, in the oh, water. Oh, yes. And don't sorry, you okay. ever no, do that going. again. Go, go, go. go. Phew! Oh my goodness, I am so glad that Captain Stern caught Cuddy and Rudder and he was able to stop them from keeping the passengers from coming on board. Now all of the passengers are there and everything seems to be working out great. And you know, the same thing with Paul. We look at his life and we look at what he did and what a great encouragement that is to you and to me about how we can live our lives and how amazing God is towards us and how he can use us to share the good news with others. In fact, there is a verse that Paul wrote in one of his other letters that says, we loved you so much that we shared not only the good news, but our entire lives with you too. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. We loved you so much that we shared with you not only God's good news, but our entire lives too. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. Paul loved people so much that he was willing to share the best news that there could possibly be shared, which was about Jesus. And we should be the same way. We should love God and love people so much that we want to share that good news with everyone. Because we all know that good things are meant to be shared. Lord, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you, God, for the good news that you have given us to be able to share with others. God, we now pray that you would give us the words and the strength and the courage to share your good news with everyone in our lives because there are so many people that need to hear it. Thank you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.